everybody, Kelly here with My Metamorphosis, and I'm really glad to be here with you guys tonight, as always. Um, I missed you yesterday. So, let's see, as of, I think that as of the last video that I put out, I was um, caught up to the right video coming out on the right day, so we are up to date um it is saturday and um so yeah what is it the 16th i believe so um i have a dollar tree haul for you and uh, i was gonna do another car haul but i decided you know until i can get a better setup in there i would just bring those bags in here and do this haul for you in here so grab a drink grab a snack sit back and relax and let's enjoy this dollar tree haul okay guys so let's just start with these things sitting next to me my my one eye is really watering today i don't know what's going on um, excuse me, I picked this up because we have some teal in our kitchen and so I'm going to put that somewhere, maybe on our coffee um, cart, I'm not quite sure, but it says together is my favorite place to be, you know, just the vinyl um, placemats. Um, oh yeah, I'm sorry. No, that's actually going to go underneath Coco's or Sky's pet bowl. And then I got another one, you know, so they can each have one. And right now what we've got underneath there are those little, I don't even know what to call them. Those little rugs that the Dollar Tree carries that are, um, Gosh, what's the word I want to use? I'm thinking of, um, I don't know, just the small little rugs. They have all different sorts of designs around kind of like one of the middle squares. A lot of people make pillows out of them. Anyway, that's what we have under the animals bowls right now. But as you know, we don't have a washer and dryer in here. And so, um, just, you know, to, um, help with that I decided to get some vinyl placemats that we can put underneath um, their bowls and hopefully they're not going to slide around too much and then I can just wash them you know in the sink so that's what those are for and then these ones are the ones that I will probably put on the coffee cart and then maybe one on um, the counter somewhere so it's got this check uh, kind of a buffalo check brown and black with the all the coffee cups we have a coffee theme in our kitchen and lots of red and brown and and black in our kitchen so it says coffee time so yeah just two of those guys and if you remember when i found that meow sign uh, to put in our little area of pet signs, which I'll show you guys eventually when I get it all together. Um, I was telling you I, I wished I had found one that was like a wolf or a bark or whatever, <laughs> but I did find this and I've seen this a million times. I kind of got bent, I'm gonna have to straighten it out. But this is, um, this will look really cute in that little area of our wall. All right, and I um, got some more Valentines, um, but I'm going to be using as decor, and I just had to get this because, you know, that looks just like Coco, and then look at the little dachshund with the balloons and the rainbow, and then look at this, the little back end of the dog, and that is exactly what Coco's little back end looks like, <laughs> so... Yeah, and it's just the same on here. 
So, um, and it's got a really cute little flag. It's like a little glittery um, iridescent uh, envelope, you know, a piece of mail with the stamp and everything. I thought that was so cute. So that will be um, part of our Valentine's Day decor. And so will this, let me take off this little strip um, with the pretty foil hearts and the different um, hearts on the front and then the faux wood and the hearts on the sides. And then like that in the front. And then of course it Velcros. It's got the pink in the side and the faux wood. So use that as a piece of decor. Let's see here. And then I got another one that's just like that same style, but it's got the red foiled heart. It says Happy Valentine's Day with the pink stripes and the little arrow and then all of these cute pink hearts on the sides and then the stripes on the back. And um, again, it's just one of those little Velcro guys. And then look at the red and white hearts right there. So very cute. Alrighty. I have not seen anyone haul these and I was so excuse me, excited to find these. Um, they are little two, two piece decor signs. So it's got the red heart and it says, you are so loved. I love that. And you guys look at this, the black one with the flower and the pink and it says, you're my person. And I love this right here. And you know, they have like the little wire on the top. I got that set and then this one as well together is my favorite place to be in the white heart and then the purple heart is I love you more than brunch and I'll probably put these two on my purple shelf as you know so I was going to put them in the um, our Valentine's decor because I was, you know, going to do the red, purple, and pink, but um, I decided to just do, you know, red, red, white, pink, and um, so yeah, I'll probably put those on my on my purple shelf. And again, this is in no particular order. I got the Broadway. Colors True Matte Lipstick, and I love this color. I, I don't think I have a color like this. It's, it's kind of coming off on camera a little different, but it's almost like a kind of between like a bubblegum pink and a fuchsia. I don't know. It's so pretty. Excited to try that. And I told you guys I went up in my number of my glasses because I was still having a heck of a time reading small print with those readers that I had. These ones, whoops, excuse my reach with the little cheetah print. So I just got these um, plain black ones. And so those ones were in a one and these ones are in a two. Ooh, glittery and dusty. And this time I actually looked at, like they have a little chart to check your which number you should be getting. And so, no kitty. And so I actually, Sutton pointed it out to me. He's like, use the chart, mom. I was like, oh. <laughs> so these are just plain black. I really do like the style of these. I need to get glasses really badly and um, you know, for everyday wear. And I, I really like this style. So I got those. Hope everyone is having a fantastic fantastic Saturday or whatever time it is when you watch this video. Hope everyone is staying, staying well. 
Um, I grabbed the home sign with the heart. I just thought this was so cute. And I don't know if I'm going to put this onto a Valentine's wreath or if I'm going to just keep this up all the time. So it's a nice thick wood black. Katie, get down. I was so excited to, to find these, you guys. And it comes in a two pack of, well they, oh, yeah, okay, cool. That's even better. I was thinking it was a letter opener, which I think it will work for that, but they're actually wrapping paper cutters. And you get one in the blue. Why are these so, oh, sorry, Coco, so dusty. And one in the white. They're by Jot. And I got those just in the, they were like on an end cap next to the pens and stuff in our store. You guys, I went sock crazy. I think the last time I bought a batch of socks like this was probably early um, spring. And you know, I always get these little two packs. So look at this. This is the cute little koalas on the branch. And they're kind of fuzzy. They have fuzzy ears. And then the little stripes. I got the <laughs> panda with the, I think he's got a hat on. Yeah, he's got a little top hat on. And then the black and white striped. And the sloth with the donut. Let's see. The donut's fuzzy, the pink area, and then the gray and pink stripes. And what is this one? Why can't I see what it is? Oh, it's the cat. So I'll show you the side first. So the stripes, and then there, okay, so this is like an ottoman. It's like a, it's a living room chair or whatever. And then the cat is sipping on a drink and eating a cookie, and then he's got like a little fuzzy tummy. I just thought these were so cute, you guys. All right, and for the first time, and maybe they've been there forever, but I saw these and I was so excited to get these because I'm hoping to wear them with my high boots. So they're just women's trouser socks, and you know, they're, they're long, they're like knee high, and they're really stretchy. Um, and they're like a silky material, but they're thick. I mean, but they're not too thick, but they're thicker than nylons. So I got these kind of whitish cream colored ones and you get a two pack. I mean, this is such a great deal. And then I got two of the, or a pack of, two pack of the black. So I'm excited to try these out. And I haven't seen this before either. It's a set of um, three mini tweezers. So they've got the pointed tip, the slanted tip, and the flat edge. And I thought these were so cool. And they look like they're pretty heavy duty. You get a black, a lavender, and like a fuchsia color, magenta. And those are by Sassy and Chic. All right. I thought these would be fun to try. I don't know if it's gonna taste weird without um, the fizz. You know, it's A&W root beer drink mix packets and you get six. Um, but we have some seltzer water that we want to use for um, some Italian sodas. So we can always put that in here, you know, a little bit of that in here to get the fizz if it tastes weird. So thought I'd try. We would try those. Oh, and here's the other <laughs> guacamole that I was telling you about. All right, and you guys, I hit the mother load, okay? I finally found these and I was beside myself. I, I cannot believe they sell these at the Dollar Tree. 
These look like something you would get at Target or Ikea. Um, so they had, they must have just gotten them in because they had tons and tons and I grabbed four of each. So they're the little, um, the white with the black um, checks and this is what they look like. So I got four of those and then the black with the white check. Same, oops, same sort of design. And these are really big. Um, they're called window storage bins, which um, we don't have, you know, those types of windows to be holding these types of bins, but they'd be so cute on a nice like bay window um, or one of those, I don't know what they call them, but, um, but yeah, I definitely have some ideas for these. And so where are we at? We are at 15 minutes. Why don't I, so we can eventually get through this, this, um, Shein haul. Why don't I go ahead and I'm just pulling out the stuff I already showed you. Um, let me show you a few things that we've got. I just put everything back in the bag. I haven't even taken it out yet. Um, showed you those. Just show you a couple of things that I haven't shown you yet. And we will eventually get through this. And haul. I showed you guys those. Um, I don't think I showed you this. So normally this would be something that my boys would get for me, but it was so inexpensive and so cute I couldn't pass it up. And see if I can pull it down. So once again, it's got kind of like that snaky sort of chain, and then. Um, and then it says mom in the heart with the little faux diamonds, rhinestones or whatever. But I thought that was so cute. It's a bracelet. I got this ring. Let's take it out and show ya. I thought this was so pretty. The stone is a little offset. That's the first time I've seen a ring come like that, but that's okay. So it's got this really pretty kind of multicolored holographic or whatever kitty. No. Hey, get down. Gosh. I'm telling you what. So yeah, there's that. And something about Shein, which you should know, is the rings, the rings do not, you don't pick the ring size. They come in what whatever size they're gonna come in, which I kind of like because it's hard to guess the ring sizes anyways, um, you know, because they run, a lot of them run small. Okay. And then I got this, gosh, I've been looking at this forever. I, I've almost gotten this on Wish a hundred times, but it's rose gold and it's this kind of ropey type chain and this beautiful butterfly. I just love that. And I got this, um, these are kind of like ropey, snaky type chains too. It was a three pack. Again, you guys, this jewelry was, I don't believe any of the jewelry was more than $2. And most of it was a dollar. And so you got, you get three of these. And they've got the little rings on them with the, um, the rhinestones so there's silver gold and rose gold kitty no I don't want to pull out all those little ones right now because I don't really I don't want to make this video too long then I got this I also looked at this a million times on um, wish and these come a lot faster than wish orders so it's a long chain, long silver chain with the beautiful owl. And 
I will show you guys one more thing and we will um, call it good for today. Now that I'm kind of caught, getting caught up on stuff, a little closer to getting caught up on stuff, um, I'll probably just be putting out one video a day for right now as far as haul, hauls go, but I'm definitely working on incorporating um, other things into this channel um, like I've wanted to do from the start. Cook with me. Um, you know what? I had to re-record one of my last videos and I don't believe that I said this to you guys um, when I re-recorded it, but I, I did the first time around and then I had to re-record. But I feel like it's fair that I tell you that recently I realized let me show you this really quick, okay? So these are just two, I think I have to take these out. Two bangle bracelets. And I think they're so pretty, like they were two for a dollar. Um, and so they're gold. I love gold and silver together, so they're gold. And then they've got kind of that like crystal look of silver around. All the way around all right so <coughs> excuse me on the topic that I was gonna get on to um, so I switch subjects so much my mind is just especially on here I just am all over the place so let me just say this first finish what I was saying I want to do cook with me I want to Kitty, she always gets on the counter when I'm filming. I will be okay. right back. Sorry about that. So, um, I want to do cook with me videos. <laughs> cook with me's. <laughs> me, myself, and I. I want to do um, more get ready with me. I want to do more. Um, I'm, I'm going to start doing some clean with me videos. So, and there's many more, okay? Um, you can look in my about tab uh, to see all that I want to incorporate into this channel. I just added a couple things. So I just feel like it's fair to tell you guys some like a little revelation I had recently, which was um, and in fact, I said it to the boys before they went to their dad's house. I was like, okay, so I said, boys, I think, I realized that I've been dragging my feet with this these cook with me videos because of our kitchen and I told them listen I do not want to be um, embarrassed about our, our tiny little apartment or our kitchen I don't want you I surely don't want you guys to be embarrassed you know I told the boys that and I said we are blessed you know, we are starting over, and I mean, not that we lived in like a, a mansion or anything before, you know, we've always lived very humbly, and, um, but we've never been in um, an apartment complex that is with such a small apartment, and um, we hadn't been in an apartment complex for a long, long time, so many years, so, um, so we, um, you know, our kitchen, I've told you guys before, we have this little vintage stove, one of my big burners, the one in the front, it is, it's like a poltergeist burner is what I call it. It will go, it will just start turning up, like getting hotter without me turning the button and there's no ghost turning the button <laughs> or, you know, the knob. Um, it just starts getting hotter all of a sudden and all of a sudden, you know, I'll have food on there and then I, you know, the boys are like, mom, something's burning and I run in back and the burner's bright red and I'm just like, oh my gosh. So I have gotten so frustrated with our little, um, stove. It is the cutest little vintage stove, but it needs help. And our kitchen, out of all of our rooms in our, in our apartment, needs the most help. And it is my most insecure area of our apartment. 
And it's already something to learn when you're a little bit of a private person to bring an audience, so to speak, you know, of people, whomever, you don't know who's watching, you know, even my wonderful subscribers, you know, I, I, I don't, you know, I only know them so much. So bringing that into your home, into your private life is something to get used to. And so those types of things, the cook with me, it's, it's easy to sit here and do a haul, but the cook with me or the clean with me, those are, those are challenging for me. And so I'm going to get over it and I'm going to, I'm just going to put myself out there. And, um, because like I've said from the get go and have said recently a million times, this channel is to come as we are. And um, I never want to pretend that I'm someone or something that I'm not. That's not me. And um, so, you know, what you see is what you get with me. And so I do want to incorporate you guys into more of our, of our life, you know, into more things in our life. Oh, my gosh. We have this space above our cabinets. And the cat is all the way up there. I don't even know how she gets up there, but she's about to... Like, I'm telling you, look it. <laughs> I may have to use this someday. Seriously, she is so naughty. Okay, my video is getting really long. I love you guys. Look for future videos, new stuff to come. I'm really excited. And I just need to quit dipping my toes in and just get on in that water and get this stuff out to you because you are my YouTube family. You are my friends and I love you guys. So on that note, Thank you to my loyal subscribers. Please, those of you, if you have not subscribed and you're watching this and you like this content, please subscribe. Be a part of this family. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And if you would give this video a thumbs up, I would sure appreciate it. And please, most importantly, comment down below so I can get to know you. Lots of love. Stay safe. Stay blessed and I will see you guys very, very soon.